Okay, now let's take a look at the Unicode. Okay, uh, actually Unicode is rather huge subject. Okay, so but I think that it's appropriate to do some understanding because now we are living in world of the multi language. Because uh, if you visit the website. Uh, especially Chinese website, uh, you must encounter some situation. There's uh, some Chinese, some words in English. It's actually bilingual, right? So uh, this is what the simple English wikis uh, have to say about the Unicode. Still uh, quite a huge information here, but uh, it's a standard, OK? Promoted by the Unico Consortium. Mm. Okay, every standard they need to organization to uh, to to seek for agreement, right? Uh, different party, different company, they will send their engineer or scientist to define the next generation. But the Unico code is especially for encoding the text, right? Yes, so encoding the text, we already know about the ASCII code, okay? And it's one most world's writing system using the variable length coding, okay? Variable length means the varied, vary in length, right? So some words, which means the some words, okay, maybe, my name, okay. <laughs> you may say, "Why, teacher? You always use your name." Uh, no copyright. It's my copyright, so I'm using my name. Maybe I write a chain, okay. In ASCII code, this character will be uh, represent one bit. No, 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 no. What I'm talking about, one byte, one byte, one byte, one byte, right? Space, one byte. And what about this? No, no, we cannot use uh, ASCII code to represent uh, uh, Chinese, right? It's out of their capability. So Unicode, if you encode this kind of information into uh, Unicode, especially the UTFA, he said that um, some of it I will use uh, one byte. Some of it, like this one, as a whole, as a character, maybe three byte, maybe two byte. I don't know. Okay, so it's very depends on its its uh, language. Okay, wow, that's advanced, right? So this concept is quite advanced. Variable length encoding. Okay, so that's why I, I, I say the clever, okay? Clever, quite smart uh, in mechanism to encode the things. Okay, what else do we need to notice? Okay, maybe scroll down a little bit to see, oh, too many information. Yeah, unless, uh, besides the UTFA, most popular we have uh, uh, UTF sixteen, okay, UTF thirty two, but not that popular as UTF eight, okay. UTF eight, they can use a one to four bytes, okay. So it could be one byte. Uh, I think that English is always use a one byte. And some, some like a Chinese, okay. Chinese maybe three bytes. Uh, some very, uh, very few used, okay. Less often used uh, character maybe four byte. Why? Most commonly used use a less less call lens. Okay, highly frequency use uh, less, 
and the less frequently used, use a little bit longer, kind of use a trade-off to uh, maximize the portability, also reduce the data size. Quite clever, right? Isn't it? Okay. By the way, if you are not, uh, what I'm talking doesn't make sense to you, just just skip it, okay? It's a quite amazing concept, variable length encoding. So uh, this is what Wiki have to say, uh, the, okay, kind of shifted. Uh, this is the official version of the wiki. Okay, to see if we miss anything else. No. I think that's it. Okay, if you are interested in that, you can keep reading about it. Uh, oh, I saw, I see Moji, Moji, right? Kind of the uh, cute, the small icon. Okay, can be represented in Unicode. Okay. And now I would like to continue do some test. Okay, shall we? Uh, test, not a text. Test. Okay, what am I going to test? I'm going to open my text editor. Text editor, default text editor here, right? Can you see? Yeah, I'm sure you can see. I'm going to type Chen. Chen, okay, and my name, okay, okay, and I'm gonna sh save it, save it, okay. Of course, without saving it, by switch of my power, everything's gone, right? Okay, boom. When you save it, you can see now, oh, the uh, software is kind of clever because. Uh, uh, kind of detect you are using Chinese as well as uh, English, right? So it uh, save as a Unicode, okay? Chen uh, TXT Chinese, okay? I save it. What about I just type uh, I knew, I knew a uh, new text. I type uh, pure, pure, pure Chinese. Oh no, pure English. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm a beginners. I'm a beginner. Uh, beginning. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. I'm a learner, okay? I'm a learner. Okay, that's it. Let's save it. Still Unicode, okay? But after you, uh, you could find you can change uh, something, right? Uh, changes uh, Mac OS, Roman, or some other. There's a, a lot of different variant, right? I be, I think that Western means I uh, use uh, just one byte. Okay. Let's see if we can use this. Okay. Save it. Okay. So this is a special encoding, right? Now uh, I would like to open my atom. Okay. My atom, when I open it, I can open the file. Can I? No, I cannot. But what if I just, just, okay, maybe I, hmm, what happened? Maybe I, oh, I need to save this, right? Need to, can I, 
It's empty. It's gone. My, did I save my code? Mm, did I miss something? Okay, do that again. Chen. Okay, I need to new a new a new a new new new. Hmm. And I save it. Save it. Kind of replace my code, right? Mm, Chen. Okay, I save it. Okay, succeeded. Now I kind of open this one Chen Atom. Yeah, here you go. And in this interface, you may find okay, the Unicode uh, has been detected. So the Atom use a uh, UTFA encoding. So uh, there will be no problem to display the Chinese and English. But what if I change the coding? Okay, for example, I change it to the Roman, uh, Western, or something, the ASCII code variation. Uh, you may find my Chinese gun, right? Why? Oh, it is because uh, Chinese, in that case, they use a special 3 byte to encode. As a unicode, but now you kind of truncate it and use another encoding to interpret it. Okay, no wonder uh, we cannot see the proper display. Okay, so once you restore back, maybe you will get appropriate uh, proper display, right? So you can noodle around this coding. Okay, it's an experiment. There's no harm to this experiment. Only uh, proper <laughs> encoding will make the data correct. Okay, so what what will we learn from? What can we learn from this exercise? Because in the computer system, sometimes you get the uh, uh, wrong answer. Doesn't mean that you your code, your uh, your program is wrong. It's just the encoding method. Okay. For example, if you if you open a file which is binary image, but you use a text editor to open it, can you expect the result? Hmm. You get a terrible uh, display, right? Because everything. It's nonsense in your text because that's a color. Why do you use a color a text to display the color? So you have got a totally wrong, right? So I think I have uh, enough uh, exper experiment uh, with the coding, Unicode and text. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.